This is my homemade merguez. I made this sausage from a French Algerian recipe using lamb shoulder along with additional lamb fat, spiced with toasted cumin, coriander, and fennel seeds, plenty of paprika and Aleppo pepper, cinnamon, cilantro, mint, garlic, and salt, ground fine and stuffed into lamb casings. I've made it from halal ingredients, anticipating a time in the near future that I can share it with friends for whom that is required. But mostly, I made it for merguez frites. See, the reason the phrase French Algerian even exists is because, you guessed it, colonialism. In 1830, France invaded Algiers, and they spent the next 70 years or so pushing their way into Africa, taking much of the Maghreb, that section of North Africa stretching from the lush thin strip of Mediterranean coast through the high plains of the Atlas Mountains and down deep into the heart of the Sahara, an area that had been settled or conquered in turn by the Berbers, the Carthaginians, the Ptolemaic Greeks of Egypt, the Romans, the Arabs, and the Ottomans. France took much of Northern and Western Africa, including the modern states of Morocco, Tunisia, and Algeria. But where Tunisia and Morocco were considered protectorates or dependent states of France, Algeria was a French department, an administrative division within France, analogous to a county in England, or perhaps a smaller U.S. state. Thus, Algerian citizens were French citizens. And over the first half of the 20th century, multiple waves of Algerian immigrants arrived in France, largely settling in and around Paris. And when, in the 1950s, the Algerians rose up against the brutal occupation of the French, and the Algerian-born ethnic Europeans, some North African Jews, and even Muslims who fought with the French to put down this revolution had to flee to Paris, they found a large Maghrebi presence there awaiting them. All this is to say that Parisian street food has a heavy North African influence. Yes, you can still get a jambon beurre, a croissant, a macaron, but you can almost as easily find stands selling couscous, tagines, shakshukas, and a North African sausage like merguez is sold alongside more traditional French sausages like andouillette and boudin. Merguez frites is a sandwich sold as a street food by Parisian vendors, and the ingredients are nearly as simple as the name. It features merguez sausage and frites, or French fries, served with a spicy North African chili paste called harissa and often other sauces in a section of baguette, or even in a lighter, softer bread, more like a hot dog bun. It's that simple. Bread, harissa, sausage, fries, and a sauce or two. Some may use Dijon mustard, though mayonnaise and ketchup are likely more popular. Here I'm using sauce algerienne, a spicy harissa spiked mayonnaise with onion and garlic, cumin and lemon. Now I have yet to fully warm up to fries in a sandwich. I like fries, yes, and you know I like sandwiches. But I am content to enjoy them in separate bites for the most part. In closing, crisp, hot fries in sauce and bread and other ingredients cannot help but make them limp, lukewarm fries rather quickly. But there's more going on in the merguez frites than just the fries. Enough, possibly, to make this particular iteration of the carbon carb sandwich worthwhile. The harissa, painted onto the bread's surface, spicy and smoky, bright and earthy. The merguez, salty, fatty, warmly aromatic, now brightly citrusy, now minty and cooling. And the sauce algerienne, spicy, savory, citrusy and sweet. In this combination, the good bread actually becomes the outlier, turning what could be a near transcendent experience into more of a chewing exercise. A cheap baguette may be the best option for this sandwich or, as I mentioned earlier, a simple toasted hot dog bun. This was my best iteration of the merguez frites, focused on the flavors of the sausage and harissa, the interplay of frites and dipping sauce, and using the bread mainly as a vehicle. I've said it many times, a great sandwich doesn't necessarily start with great bread. It starts with the right bread, and this toasted hot dog bun did the trick for me. I'll save the good baguettes for pan con tomate. Tis the season, after all.